Right back home, how train officials are scrambling to attract more passengers. The rail service is in dire straits and needs around 1.5 billion rand to continue operating next year. It recorded a 3.5% drop in commuter numbers last year. For more on this, we are joined by ENCA's Govan Whittles, who's been tracking that particular story. So, Govan, the How train opened at much pride and fanfare in 2010, and we were told it was going to revolutionize uh, the public transportation system in South Africa. So why is it that in 2019, the taxpayer, you and I, out of our hard-end tax rent, are now expected to fund the how train to some 1.5 billion rand? Well, it's essentially because the, the days of the Gau train uh, performing a double-digit growth are over. And right now, the Gau train uh, needs 1.5 billion rand uh, just to make sure that it can cover its costs in the next financial year. And the issue here is, is not really that it needs this money, but that that figure has increased from around 821 million rand in 2013 to this 1.5 billion rand that's required uh, in the 2017-2018 financial year. And the the reason for this um, is because you've mentioned, as you've mentioned, the passenger numbers on the rail service are, is declining. And this is due to a number of reasons, uh, the Hau train official says, uh, but it's also because um, they say that they found that the commuters are not willing to tolerate the congestion at the Hau train stations in the morning, particularly during the peak time when often when they arrive at the station, they risk being left on the platform because there's simply too many people in the train. But to put it clearly, it's not only because the passenger numbers are, are declining that they need the money. This money is part of a patronage guarantee, which was guaranteed to uh, the Gau Train Management Agency before the service even started operating in 2010. And essentially, it allows the management agency uh, to cover some of the costs uh, or some of the, the repaying of the loans, uh, and this will continue for the next four years. After that, in around 2023, we'll have a how train which is uh, cheaper to run, but also one that's uh, able to run without having to pay uh, the concession company, the Bombella concession company, obviously from Austria, every month. So right now, the taxpayers are paying about 100 million rand a month, um, but that has been agreed to by the Gauteng government. And the Gauteng Train Management Agency says that figure will continue to increase with consumer price index uh, every single uh, a month and year. But to I did speak to the CEO of the Gau Train Management Agency, Mr. Jack van der Merwe, to find out from him exactly why passenger numbers have dropped beyond uh, the congestion in the morning. Let's have a look at what he said. If you go, you leave your car at home and you use the Gau Train, um, the fact that you you crash loaded and you decide, man, it's too much effort, I'm going back to my car. You don't write me a letter and say, look, I'm gone. You know, the numbers just go down. Or you don't give a reason for it. So, so that's the one reason is the capacity. The second reason is this ongoing conflict between meter taxis and ear hailing. So if you, and especially the airport passengers, if you arrive at Santon, there's a whole big fight around who takes your bags and all the violence goes in there. The third one is is... The question of the of the toll roads, what we've done in our province, we've through the Gauteng Freeway Improvement Plan, we've created new capacity on the freeway system. But that was always going to be a capacity at a cost. You know the the, the whole saga around the e tolls, and currently there's a there's a major uh, movement of not paying e tolls. So what should have been a cost. To, to the motorist is now not a cost to the motorist. Okay, so... Then, so sorry, sorry. And then the fourth one is the downturn in the economy. We have a, we have a slowing down of the economy. We're growing at 0.5, 0.7% um, GDP growth per year. And if the economy doesn't grow, the demand for movement of people, goods and services goes down. Well, that was the CEO of the How Train Management Agency, Mr. Jack van der Merwe. As you heard there, Tula Sizwe is saying that 
they anticipated that more people wouldn't be using Gauteng's highways because of the e-tolling system. And based on that, uh, they, they uh, projected a certain number of passengers on the Gau train. So because people are not paying e-tolls, that's also having a negative impact on the Gau train. But we do know that the Gau train management agency has been planning uh, for this increased demand, especially during the peak period. And one of the ways that they did so was to try and procure new trains um, at the beginning uh, or at the end of last year. So they put that process out to tender, but none of the people um, who submitted the tenders did so adequately. So that process has to start all over again. And uh, once that process starts, that means it'll take another two years before they're actually able to get those trains. And therefore, there won't be more trains available in the morning during that crucial peak period, at least for another two years. So it seems as if the reliance on the government will continue, at least for now. Mm. Govan, thank you so much. It never is simple and straightforward uh, with our situation uh, and our politics, is it? Thank you so much. That's ENCA's Govan Whittles reporting to us there about the situation that the Gau train is facing and the need for support from UNI, the taxpayer, to the tune of some one and a half billion rand.